All right, let's talk about Terraform plan. So this command creates an execution plan, also known as a Terraform plan, and it consists of uh, reading the current state of an already existing remote object to make sure that the Terraform state is up to date, comparing the current configuration to the prior state and noting any differences, proposing a set of change actions that should, if applied, make the remote objects match the configuration. And so this is an example of one that is generated. You're gonna see it uh, throughout this course multiple times, so it's not gonna be uh, unique. That's why I don't have to make that too big for you there. Uh, Terraform plan does not uh, carry out the proposed changes. That's gonna be the responsibility of Terraform apply. And a Terraform plan file, if you happen to generate one out, is a binary file. So if you open it up, it's just machine code. You cannot make sense of it, okay? So uh, when you run Terraform apply, you have speculative plans and save plans. And so speculative plan plans is what's gonna happen when you run Terraform apply. So, the Terra so Terraform will output the description of the effect of the plan, but without any intent to actually apply it. When you have a save plan, you're gonna have this hyphen out flag to save it, and you can name that file whatever you like. Uh, and it will generate out that save plan file. And again, that's a binary file, so you're not gonna be able to see what it does. And what you can do is then pass it along to Terraform apply. So you do Terraform apply, whatever the file name is. And when you are using Terraform apply, what you have to understand is that it will not allow, it will not ask to uh, manually approve it as you normally would. It would just be auto approve. So that's one thing you have to watch out when using those save plans. But you know, I just wanted to make it concretely understood that Terraform plan can generate out a file uh, and it's not actually the one that's doing the apply, okay? Um, I don't have it written in here, but when you do Terraform apply, it also is running Terraform validate as well, okay?